Look at all this snow. Yaklev Games didn't tell me they were releasing no Polar Night today. Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B coming at you once again with some amiibo content. Today we've got Shovel Knight, who is the first non-Smash Bros third-party amiibo, and uh, that's just pretty dang cool. Uh, so I only just recently got a chance to play Shovel Knight over the holidays, and it's a fantastic game. Highly recommend it. Uh, if you, I mean, it's on like every single system, I think. So really, if you're interested in it, there's really no excuse not to at least try it because it is really good. I don't really go for those old school hard games, but it was just really good. I had a lot of fun with it. So I'm really excited to get the Amiibo and uh, revisit it again with the Amiibo. So yes, the Amiibo uh, stock numbers, from what I've been able to see, which admittedly I only took a quick glance on the Amiibo subreddit, and of course the GameStop I went to, uh, based off of everything that I could find, the stock numbers were not good. Yacht Club Games said there'd be pretty good stock on release. I have to disagree with that. The most I saw people saying that their stores received was 12 to 14, which is an okay number. Uh, certainly better than when Nintendo first started releasing these. But the majority of places were getting 2 to 4, with some places getting as few as 0. So that's not so good. That's way 4 levels of bad. Uh, as for my GameStop that I went to, they got 6 in... And four of them, including this one, sold out immediately. So, uh, yeah, at least we know uh, the guy's popular. <laughs> uh, so with that, let's actually get on to the unboxing. Oh, actually, uh, something actually really cool that uh, Yacht Club Games did with this is uh, most Amiibo on the bottom, underneath the Amiibo, there's a little sticker or a foil chip, uh, depending on how old the amiibo is uh they've changed it for some of the newer ones but basically there's a little piece of foil under the, the figure that prevents you from scanning it inside the box but uh shovel knight here does not have that so from everything that i've heard people say you can actually scan him through the box i have not tested it yet but so that means for new in box collectors they can still totally play with the figure and still display it in the box and that's just really cool that they're including everyone letting everyone display it how they like and play with it how they like so that's really cool uh as for people who are collecting a m mint i doubt that you can still scan it in and have it be considered mint but if you're just if you just like the way the packaging looks you can still play with the figure so let's dig in It's a shame to ruin that art. That art was really cool. Uh, here we go. Oh, they, they actually taped the sides on this one. Uh, I don't think I've seen that on any of the other Amiibos I've opened. Uh, okay. Uh, don't know what that's about. So, here he is. Uh, first thing we notice that purple base with the emblem uh i don't know maybe there's plans for a future uh amiibo for the three boss dlc knights uh plague specter and king knight if i'm not mistaken uh which would be really cool but regardless uh this is the currently only amiibo in the shovel knight series uh his emblem looks really cool so i'm curious is that in fact the emblem of chivalry uh, let me know. But, onto the actual figure. Uh, I've actually got a Mewtwo here. Uh, just because I wanted to feel the difference in the plastics. Uh, they feel pretty similar. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, Shovel Knight here was actually made in the factory that they make the Disney Infinity figures. I think it was the Disney Infinity. Uh, it's not made in the same factory that the that the main Nintendo Amiibo are made at. Uh, 
because I think Yacht Club Games had to oversee production on their own. Uh, but the quality of the plastic feels fine. Uh, I was worried when I heard that it wasn't going to be produced in the same factory as the Amiibo. Uh, but I will say some of those worries were uh, justified. The paint job isn't perfect. Uh, a lot of the lines have minor bleeding. Uh, just, uh, yeah, here on the hilt. Uh, basically, all of the, or right here on his shoulder, some of the blue is leaking onto his uh, gold trim. Uh, overall, it you can't notice it from far back, but I will say the paint job could use some work. Uh, that was my biggest fear when I heard that it wasn't going to be made in the same thing with, in the same factory as the Amiibo, because uh, Amiibo already have their fair share of paint, paint splatters and bleeds and everything, but uh, this is just, there's a lot of places where it doesn't look like they had uh, as uh, thorough uh, quality assurance. Uh, also, my particular figure has a little uh, little line on the horn. Uh, I don't know what that is. So yeah, that's the biggest thing. Uh, the paint could use some work. Like I said, looking at it from far back, you're not really going to notice. Uh, but if you get close up, you can kind of see some places where it's just kind of off. Uh, other than that, I know a lot of people were disappointed that the pose wasn't super dynamic, like some of the concept sketches that we got to see where he was actually digging with the shovel. But I actually much prefer this because it's very stable. Uh, it doesn't need any of the support stands like this one. Uh, Mewtwo was even made after they started making the Smash Amiibo, so I don't know what happened with him. But uh, none of that problem with Shovel Knight. Uh, his shovel is his support, you could say. Uh, but yes, overall, I mean, aside from the paint, it's a pretty solid figure. I'm I'm pleased with it, uh, especially since it's the first non-Smash third-party Amiibo. Uh, I think when you consider that, it turned out great. And uh, if you can look past the minor paint problems, it's a really solid figure. Uh, as for the content that he unlocks, if I remember correctly, uh, he unlocks the multiplayer, obviously, and then some bonus challenges, and then the Custom Knight has a, a variety of different unlockable weapons. I know a lot of people aren't wild about uh, the co-op being locked behind the Amiibo, and I can kind of agree with that. As much as I love these things, I don't think they should have major content like a game modes locked behind them, uh, with an ex with an exception for Amiibo Festival because that has Amiibo right on the name, uh, so it's very obvious that you need one to play. Whereas uh, locking multiplayer behind it just feels kind of uh, and it, it feels kind of dirty because you need the Amiibo. Uh, it's not available for the other consoles, which. They got their own little free DLC boss battles or whatever. Uh, I don't know too much about that. And, I mean, yeah, we got something much bigger, but we also do have to pay for it and get the figure. So, I mean, there's kind of a trade-off. But I think the just even the custom night w and the challenge stages and maybe just being able to alter the color palette however you want would have been more than enough DLC for him. Uh, I think the... The multiplayer was a bit excessive. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with how he turned out. Uh, so that is Shovel Knight. And uh, I will see you all next time for some more Amiibo content. Thank you for watching as always.